So Screenbox released a brand new Turkish horror film. And uh, just an FYI for anyone who has access to Hoopla, which is a library subscription uh, service for streaming and for books and comic books and all sorts of wonderful things. Uh, Screenbox Originals seemed to drop on there the same day as Screenbox, so I got rid of my screen box because we never use it mm. and I noticed that Hoopla uploads them the same day and Hoopla is free and I was like I just don't use this enough and I'm spending even though it's very little uh, I've probably spent 30 bucks on it all together and I've only probably watched like three movies on there ever so it's like, but if you're it's using like 10 it, bucks a movie yeah but that's right. because we're really only using it to watch Screenbox Originals because we either own a lot of the other films that are on there or we have other streaming services that we can get them on. Right. But if you're somebody who doesn't have Shudder or like Amazon or something, I still think Screenbox is probably a great deal sure. just for the amount of uh, you know horror movies that you get access to. So Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> so there is this guy that is hired uh, kind of like hush hush. Um, to hold this body for a month. This is a very interesting premise. Um, it's kind of hard to say what this movie is really about, but he's asked to hold this body, um, and so he does it, and the body isn't as dead as they said it was. <laughs> and much. now he is trying to help this being B. Um, yeah, I didn't like this movie. This is like super slow. You never know what the hell is going on with absolutely anything ever. And there's no resolution in the end that feels satisfying. And I didn't buy into like whatever romance mm -hmm. was going on here because they just didn't set it up in a way that I'm that I personally would connect with it. Um, if you were to connect with it, I, I, I mean, I guess it's possible. I just don't know how. If you were to connect with the romance of the movie, then it's not even a romance, though. That's why I, like, kind of air quotes the romance here is because it's like, what romance? But that's kind of how they're trying to sell it. Yeah. Because um, we've seen movies like this, I mean, plenty of times, where a character falls in love with a being that needs them to do terrible things for them. This is kind of like a classic tale in that way. Yeah. And the way that it's presented here is not only confusing, but it's just dull, lackluster. And as I had said, and you know, in the end, it just feels very unfulfilling. Yeah. I think I, I felt pretty similar to you. I really liked the atmosphere of the movie. Um, it's all it had, which I mean, yeah, it's well, and I think that the acting like was solid, you know, I think the performance was, was yeah. good from everyone. Yes. Um, it's well shot, it's well, well shot, acted. well acted, yeah. great atmosphere, yeah. but I was really confused about some, I think important parts of the story. I think it's definitely kind of a vibes movie and, um, I could definitely see people being into it. Uh, it does have a bit of this very dark and, uh, unsettling romance yeah. really. Uh, so if you're into movies with that type of a, a theme, I think, you know, this might be something up your alley. Um, but yeah, the ending confused me. I wasn't satisfied with the ending and that's kind of all I have to say about it. Yeah. I, I, I think that, I mean, yeah, there's not a ton of, of gore or anything that we get, which, uh, maybe would have been nice to see more of that aspect of the film. Because of what's happening. Because of what's movie. happening yeah, in the story. Sure. Um, yeah, I, I... Yeah, I don't really know what to make of this film. I don't really know what she's supposed to be. Um, right. I don't know what the ending... Like, there's a group of people. I don't really know exactly what's going on with them. I really I like the look of them, though. Yeah, there's a great... There's some cool like, They all wear designs. masks. Yeah. And the masks are very cool. Mm -hmm. Something almost reminiscent of, as you had said while we were watching it, The Collector. Mm -hmm. uh, so I really liked the masks. The movie that this reminded me of, sort of, 
uh, from this year that Kaylee did not watch with me, but I'm going to hopefully get her to watch it with me before the end of the year, is a movie called Handling the Undead, mm. where it has that same exact kind of atmosphere to it and that same deliberately slower pace. And, um, yeah, I think pretty much everything in this film is is left open for your interpretation and for you to kind of fill in everything. Like, all the character motivations, all the character connections, all of what ultimately ends up happening in the end, everything that sets up the movie, everything in the middle with the, with the relationships. That's just all there in, as you said, vibes. Mm -hmm. And you can attach whatever you want to it. You know, you can kind of glean some things from it, maybe, that you're like, well, I think maybe this is what's going on, but it's really just going to be all interpretive. Yeah. And to me, like, that's too much. That's mm -hmm. too lazy. I like a blend of both. I like them to leave enough breadcrumbs that I'm like, okay, when I'm, when I'm connecting dots, I feel confident about the dots I'm connecting because of some of the, like tissue that's been given to me to connect as to where this it's like i'm pulling on like threads that are this far apart and being like trying to connect them and it's like i just got to make up a whole line yeah. to create a connection and it's like that's just too much work for me watching this movie right so and and also i just didn't find the film all that interesting mm. like i kept wanting it to be i kept wanting to connect with it it was trying to go for you know something like uh let the right one in mm -hmm. and i just with that though there's so much character development in both ways there's there's interesting ideas being presented especially with like within the let the right one in or let me in whichever one you prefer with like the person who came before if you've seen the movie you know what i'm talking about there's so, so many interesting ideas explored there um, especially with a kid who never ages and that stuff is all so rich and, and interesting and that's why that film works and has gotten a remake and a television series based on it. But with something like this, I just watch it and I'm like, there's just nothing but style here and the style runs pretty dry after a certain amount of time because it just isn't accompanied by anything else. Yeah. Yeah, I feel I feel the same way. Like I said, um, but also, like I said, I, I definitely can see this film landing for people as well. Sure. Uh, I definitely sure. think it has an audience it's a out film. there. Yeah. I yeah. just think it didn't work for us. <laughs> I, this is yeah. one of those situations where I'm like, I think other people would maybe be really into it. Uh, I'd say it's a very but, niche niche yeah, audience. I don't maybe. think like horror fans who are going to like watch it to be scared or like it's kind of jump scared like, um, or anything like, pff, forget it yeah i think in the similar vein of like you won't be alone you will never be alone oh yeah um sort yeah. of the same kind yeah. of like slowness yeah to it <clears throat> it's yeah I, I yeah it's kind of it's aimless say. directionless in my opinion i i just i did not connect with anything going on I, I, if they could have connected me to why he was doing the things that he was doing, you would you had said because he's lonely and it's like right, but yeah. it's not presented in a way that makes me connect with it. I've definitely watched films with very little dialogue, and there's just some kind of unsaid thing between them that makes their their just a look that they give each other anything, but it's just kind of like he does it and. The, what he does to begin with with her, like what he endures in the very beginning stages of their relationship, there has to be something there, right? For you to go to those lengths. Because if you yeah. take something like Return of the Living Dead 3, which is one of my favorite ones of these types of movies where you have like, the the chick who's undead and and needs bodies and uh, the she's got her boyfriend with her who adores her he's about to run away from his family for her they have such a great connection for the first like twenty minutes of the movie you f their their like romance and their and their attraction to each other is palpable 
right? So like I buy into everything that's happening into that movie because we build a relationship. We build characters that make sense in that world as to where with this one, it's kind of like, here's our guy and he drives a hearse and uh, he picks up a body and then she's, you know, uh, she needs something from him and he just gives it to her and it's like, why? I, I don't get it. Why, why, why would he go to these lengths? I, I don't. He was like a seemingly completely normal guy before this, and now he's doing these things. Like two seconds later, for for someone he doesn't even know, and we don't see any connection to. It just doesn't make any sense. And then the rest of the movie doesn't make any sense because they never elaborate on anything. I mean, you talk about movies that have too much exposition. This is the counter movie yeah. where it's like zero. It's like okay, what's happening? So I don't know. There's a there's there's a good balance to things, right? You've got to find a good, uh, a good balance of exposition, a good balance of character development and relationship uh, connections and stuff yeah. like that. And this movie just has none of them for me. So that's that. I'm just I'm just kind of beating a dead horse at this point. But I don't know. It has its audience, as you said, but I think it's a very small audience. Um, I, I just can't imagine too many people being super high on this, except for like. Like the the like artsy, I don't want to say pretentious because this movie isn't pretentious. I don't think it's trying to be no, intellectual I don't think it's pretentious at all. At all. Um, There's just a certain type of like movie lover that would be into this style. Like like the movie Bones and All has a similar, similar kind vibe, of thing, but that has sure. so much chemistry between the characters yeah. that I completely understand why. Uh, Taylor and Timothee yeah, that's a, it's have a, a romantic comparison. entanglement, right? As to where this, comparison. it's like there was nothing. Yeah, but I think if you if you're into Bones and All, if you liked that movie, this has a similar feel to it. It does, but, but it is God, that in my opinion so much yeah, better. I like that one more. So. Pff, not even close. It's not even close. I really enjoyed that. I didn't like this almost at all. So yeah, but it does have a similar kind of vibe to it. It's just. There's so all of the like connective tissue, as I had said, is missing. That's it. Anyway, all right, I'm done bitching. But uh, <laughs> it's two you? hours long and it's in Turkish. Yeah. So, so a, a two hour long subtitled movie that's deliberately slow paced with no information context given to you and no relationships, and and we have multiple relationships that are are shown in this film, with him and his sister, with him like. And all of those things are just so <laughs> superficial. There's nothing even there to explore. There's nothing. There's not even an attempt at a connection. That's what's so bizarre to me. That's why I was just kept watching this movie, being like, "Are we even going to attempt a connection?" Because there's one thing, like with the new Crow movie, where people are like, "I didn't buy into the romance," mm -hmm. but there's an attempt at it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I do. You have to have an attempt at a romance to build mean. one. Yeah. Even if you don't buy into it. I know I said I was done. Yeah. But it's just like those kind of, I don't know. These kinds of movies are, are tad baffling to me because it's like there's an attempt. You have to at least make the attempt. You have to you have to shoot a shot to make a shot. Right? You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. That's this movie for me. There's no shots taken. It's anyway. I'm done. All right. I'm really done this time. But. Just kidding. All right. Bye. Bye.